Hello there, here's the 2003 Pursuit 2270 center console. It's a pretty clean boat. It has a brand new T-top on it, which is powder-coated powder aluminum. And it's a, uh, it's not a canvas wrapped T-top. It's got this, uh, I'll show you later, but it's very hard, not fiberglass, but it's a hard surface. Okay, the hull sides are dark navy blue. It's actually a vinyl wrap that the owner had done. It has no blemishes. The top sides look pretty good. I don't see any real damage at all. The non-skid looks great. The transom is solid. The boat's got no bottom paint because it doesn't sit in the water. It's got a Yamaha 225 on the back, original engine, stainless steel propeller. It has trim tabs. Here's some more of that non-skid. Here's the starboard side, looking good. I, I'm told by the seller, the owner, that underneath of this, this vinyl is uh, originally a blue gel coat, but he had it done because he was contemplating it, having it painted, and it's much cheaper to do the vinyl wrap than to paint it. Uh, unfortunately, there's a couple little I guess rub marks in the outer skin of the uh, vinyl which he says he's going to have it taken care of so there you have it the bottom is nice and clean very clean bottom no chips no damage top sides look good okay so let's enter the boat it's got the dive ladder it's detachable You walk through the center on this boat. There's your helm seat. That leaning post with the built-in live well. All the cushions are in beautiful shape. Here's the nice dashboard. Of course, the structure. T-top with rod holders galore. Looking aft, you have these two jump seats that fold down. Uh, these are the backrests which open up for storage. So there's your backrest for each side. This can be used as a, a fish box of some sort. Okay. The electronics, you have a VHF radio. It has a stereo system, probably original equipment. A Garmin 441S, which is probably original equipment and the Yamaha speedometer and, and tachometer gauge. It's got hydraulic steering, shifter up front, very large, two, two very large uh, bow cushions. Now keep in mind this boat has bolster cushions all the way around. All the way around the boat is completely cushioned. So if you have a bunch of kids, you know, they won't bounce around too much. Of course, you have your rod storage underneath. In front of the helm is a cooler with a seat cushion as well. Of course, underneath bow cushions are the forward hatches, which I'm having difficulty opening up with one hand. Okay. This is a very hard rubber type material flexible it's almost like a plastic hope that helps out I don't see any defects other than you know where the previous bolt holes were for the brackets for the bimini top there's there's four on this side and four holes on the other side that's it it's in pretty good shape it runs really good here's the engine cowling you can see the sun has faded the paint a little bit other than that, the boat's in excellent condition. He just had the engine completely serviced. It's ready to go. Complete, top to bottom service. And I have receipts for that. And uh, other than that, it's been a really good, reliable boat. He claims it only has 110 hours on it, but it would have to be verified with a computer, which can be done by a, a mechanical inspection. It also has trim tabs, which I didn't mention. Well, there you have it. My name's Dan. My number's 239-571-4500.
And one more thing, the forward anchor locker is here. The anchor is nicely stowed in the slots and contains several feet of rope and a certain amount of chain. It's a Danforth anchor. No anchor windlass, just manual anchor system. And it does not have a head compartment. This boat does not have the space for a head. Uh, you have to get into a bigger boat for that, but it does have a little opening here where you can get to the batteries on the port side. And this whole console tilts it tilts forward or tilts aft, either one, so you can get to the back side of the electronics and all the wiring. Okay, it, it tilts back because here's the, the latches, it tilts backward and you can get inside to get to all that electrical stuff. Okay, thank you very much. Talk to you later.